Hello, mountain bike friends. We are back again this month with the trending mountain bike products that mountain bikers are buying out of our extensive catalog of 20,000 products and thousands of mountain bikers. And we're gonna tell you all the trending mountain bike products and Jared is going to eat them after I tell you them. <laughs> For mountain bikers, it doesn't get much more hardcore than a valve core. <laughs> This is a pack of 10 of Presta Valve valve cores. Why you would need these and why these are trending is because if you have tubeless tires on your mountain bike, which you probably do, they get clogged up with sealant and you need to replace these every now and then when those things get all clogged and impossible to seep air and allow air to go in. And so it's really convenient to have these. They're kind of expensive, 18 bucks for 10 of them, but, but you gotta have them. They're very useful. You gotta have them, and chances are your friends aren't gonna have them, so you can yeah, be like totally. the guy with the valve cores. Be like, dude, I got you. Well, let me hook you up. And you can sell it to your buddy for $5 a piece because his valve core's clogged. And That's actually- You have fresh valve cores. Pretty smart. It'll pay for all your valve cores like Buy a that. pack of 10, lasts you probably a year, and then you never have to deal with clogged valve cores again. You just swap them out when they get clogged. At least, and that's hardcore! Hardcore valve core! Woo! I'm gonna eat this one too. Put it back. Puck VPD Air 2.0 knee pads. 2.0, that's right. I actually use these bad boys myself and they're some pretty solid knee pads. Actually, surprisingly lightweight. It's very, very lightweight. And they help you uh, preserve your knees and your skin in the event of a crash. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty easy to assume as much, I would imagine. <laughs> Puck makes really good knee and elbow pads and various other pads, and they always make really high quality stuff with really good fabrics and stretch and just good quality stuff. That's right. Little grippers in there, well thought out, well designed knee pads. These are some of our best selling knee pads that kind of always have been, at least the original VPD Airs. Yeah, they are. Now the 2.0s. So, yeah, good stuff. What's in here? What's the stuff in here? Is this literally the VPD? That's the VPD, baby. Okay, what I realized about this, this is like this slow rebounding protection layer. It's pretty wild. This is a fairly new thing, maybe yeah, like show five, how it works. five years ago. Yeah. This is what I realized once, once this came out. You could just put this on like a concrete floor and punch it as hard as you can, and it doesn't hurt your hand. Doesn't hurt your hand. Hurts your wrist a little, but not your hands, but that's pretty cool. Yeah. Like, that works. Yeah. It works really well, <laughs> especially when you're on your bike. <laughs> The third product we have, which has started wait, to- Wait, wait, I've got something. I didn't what? tell you about it, but it's something that we've never featured on the channel before. So I'm personally really excited. Okay. Check it out. It is a plate of finely cured, hand rolled and black peppercorns, salami, and a beautifully sharp Vermont cheddar cheese that's been aged for at least three months. Hey everyone. Uh, Kind of embarrassing, but I just wanted to apologize. We recently featured a product on the trending products video, the salami rolled in black peppercorns and the white sharp aged cheddar. And unfortunately it's already out of stock. It's really good. This cheese isn't actually three months old, is it? I don't know. All sharp cheddars age for a little bit. But it's not like three months in the fridge. <laughs> The third product, which is trending again because now they are finally back in stock to some extent, Ergon Grips, and in particular, the GA3S. That's right. These bad boys are sweet. They got this wing right here you can see. It's got kind of the mini wing. So Ergon, that brand has always had at least one or more of our top selling uh, grips and saddles forever. Like, for over 10 years since we started the shop. And it's also one of the brands that we've gotten a ton of feedback on where people buy Ergon grips and or saddles, especially grips, and are ecstatic about how it's fixed their hand pain, their wrist pain, something, they just love that. And a lot of that is because the engineering they do, we made an entire video going in depth on like how they engineer their products and test them and all that sort of stuff. So link below in the video description if you wanna check out that video, GA3S. The small, smaller wing, mm -hmm. and it does say recommended for smaller, medium glove size, but I don't really think that's true because don't really know if that's kind true. of more preference. Like it's it's just a slightly smaller diameter and wing than the GA3 large, yeah. which I would prefer this. We wear large, wear large gloves and I mean, look at that. I yeah, mean, no, they're good. Right? Yeah, multiple <laughs> colors. Ergon makes some really interesting grips. And although they have a wing, don't freak out. The wing is legit. I gave my dad a pair of these he runs them, he loves them, and he says that his hands don't hurt anymore, so. Yeah, if anyone has a bit of like hand or wrist pain, they've always typically turned to Ergon and that's solved that problem, so 
super interesting for that category of riders. GA3 S. Check him out. Check him out. Check him out. Ooh. <laughs> Talking about a transfer, we got these. Sorry, I'll stop. No, yeah, no, no. Go ahead. Yeah, no, if you want to keep going, that's fine. No, yeah, we'll do it later. Cool. Do the video. Yeah, up next, we have this beautiful Fox transfer post. This one in particular is the factory version. It's got the beautiful you can Kashima. Touch it. Go ahead. Okay, okay, I'll touch it. It's got the beautiful Kashima coating. The way to tell the difference really between this one and the old version, it's got this redesigned stack here, which actually lowers the overall stack height. So you can fit a longer post in your frame where you normally would have to run a shorter one due to those constraints. But then- so this is technically 2021 or 2022? Yes, this post is the <laughs> 21 slash 22 version, the newest Fox transfer post. The other way you can tell is this collar right here. You can actually remove, like, or you can loosen this, remove it, and you can service it. You can put some slick honey in there and keep it going. Service it nice. yourself very easily. You can service it helps. yourself, which is great because the old one, you couldn't do that. Now you can take this off, pop some grease in there, keep it running smooth. Yeah, these posts came out a little while ago, but it was a nice revision to an already really well respected and really well known dropper post for being reliable and quality. Um, not the cheapest dropper post, no. but certainly, you know, arguably one of the absolute nicest. And it was a good to see a revision to it that just made it even nicer looking, mm -hmm. more easily serviceable, lower stack height. Yeah. And now they're finally back in stock and they have them from yeah. anywhere from 100, 125, 150, 175, and 200 millimeters of travel. 200. It's legit. That is legit. That's, that's what I'm talking that's about. a big dropper post. Yeah. Not the cheapest dropper post, but you get what you pay for. Super high quality. Really nice. And one of our best selling dropper posts of all time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it'll be the only dropper post that you can get to match your Kashima <laughs> shock and fork if you have that. That's right. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Sanitize me. Mmm, cleanse me. <laughs> Tell me about the next product. The next product is a Maxis Recon. Now, this bad boy, let me tell you, this is one of the best. I would say personally, tires for a combination of fast rolling and traction. Wouldn't you say? For like XC slash trail? Yeah, yeah, exactly. XC slash trail bikes. XC, I love that thing. XC I've never run it in the trail. front because I've never really been that on the XC side, but I've certainly run that in the rear many times with like a dissector in the front, and that is a great fast rolling rear tire. That's Let me lightweight. tell you. I have been running this in the front. Really? On SB100. Rolls really fast. That is fast. It is awesome. And it actually grips way better than I had anticipated. Hmm. I was expecting to just like wash out the front end all the time. But it actually holds on pretty good. Yeah. And it rolls so fast. This thing eats miles. Eats miles. We have done a ton of videos on Maxxis tires, one of which is a Maxxis tire guide. We actually did two of those ones that's more new. Um, check that out if you're curious about all the different Maxxis models and which ones are great and what they're for. We also did a more simplified video of that called Best Maxxis Tire Combos, mm -hmm. where I pretty much just put on a graph of weight and traction all the way up and you can see the tire combos that really make sense if you're going on the trail bike side or the full downhill side and kind of anywhere in between so check those videos out if you're more curious but trending product this month is almost always a trending maxis tire because maxis is just crushing it these days with good high quality tires and it's great it's a great so, rear tire yeah, and a uh, little inside tip this with the dhr2 up front <laughs> Forget yeah, it, you're dialed. Nice you want it even lighter, that in the back with a dissector in the front. <laughs> Slightly more. This guy's crazy. But this it guy's, is lighter. Yeah, it is dissector's lighter. Dissector's lighter than the DHR2, He's right. the same size. He's right. Yeah. Good it is setup. lighter. Yeah. Tires. We've talked about tires a lot. Never get tired. We have a whole tires playlist. Look at that. Link down below. <laughs> Never get tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cane Creek, next product. Cane Creek handlebar bearings? Yes. What? No, no, no. Hellbender bearings. Oh, Hellbender. Because oh, that makes more sense. Like the, hell, the headset, the Hellbender headset. The handlebar headset? No, the Hellbender headset. Oh, the Hellbender headset. Bet you won't touch those greasy things. Bet you I did, and I'm going to wash my hands after. Uh, do you want to tell them what they are? It's a Hellbender 70, they call it, because it bridges the gap. Cane Creek, excuse me, Cane Creek, mm -hmm. Hellbender 70, bridges the gap between the 40 and the 110 series. So if you do a quick little, you know, napkin math, it'll 70 is... 
it's almost in between. I, you know, they don't want to call it 75 because that's like... It's one of the newest headsets from Can Creek who has been making the best headsets for mountain bikes for longer than I've been alive. I actually have the Hellbender 70 in my bike right now. I really you do? like that thing. Yeah. You like it? Dude. Well, I mean, it's a headset. It's what's crazy about a Can Creek headset is like, there's not really anything not to like. Like, you put it on, it works perfect, and you never think about it the rest of your life. Yeah. It's true. And these have a two-year warranty. It's a great replacement. Like, for instance, if you already have a 40 headset, your bearings go bad. You can just pop these guys in there. This is like yeah. direct replacement. Headset it's maintenance. No the more mud and water that gets on your bike, you do need to replace the bearings every so often. Maybe like one or two years, typically. Mm -hmm. More more like on the one year if you're out east and you're riding in a lot of mud. More on like the two or three years if you're out west and it's a more drier climate. But yeah, Very good dry. replacement bearings. You can put them in a 40. You can put them in a 70. Um, yeah, good stuff. Hellbenders. Hellbenders. They're legit. 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 All right, what's next? What did you write down on there? What's next? Wanger. Those are Rangers, oh, baby. Oh, Rangers. 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 We don't have a ton of bikes in stock right now. In stock right now. In stock right now. In Just stock like right now. Just like nobody does because the bicycle industry is still in the midst of a supply chain disaster that will hopefully be solved by spring or summer of 2022, but potentially spring or summer of 2023. Nobody really knows. But, but that's a critical prediction. But we do have some bikes right now. And so if you're curious about Rebel Ranger, it's a bike that I've been riding for a long time. I really love it. I've made several videos on it. Jared recently just got one. Um, we're big fans of Rebel Bikes. We do have a few Rangers in stock right now. So always keep checking. Well, no matter what bike you're looking for from us, from anyone, just keep checking, be patient, um, have more communication about when things are gonna come back into stock. Yeah. Bikes do come back into stock. And it if you're looking happening. for a bike, just reach out and we'll let you know when it comes back. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. I would assume other people do that, but you never know these days in the bike world. You know, sometimes you just, you know, you just gotta keep on keeping on. Just gotta keep on keeping on. Look at that specialized water bottle cage with the multi-tool on the bottom. Oh! Well, how about nice. that Wolf Tooth B-Rad strap? That's nice. Are those just like free upgrades? No. <laughs> <laughs> least but not last we would like to tell you about our deals collection we don't really pride ourselves on deals because worldwide cyclery was built on the backbone of latest greatest well curated selection of high-end mountain bike parts and really good customer support but every now and then we end up with some deals yeah we do some fancy deals so if you go to our website and you hit shop then there's a little deals button i think on mobile it says top secret sales do not tell or something funny like that <laughs> And then on desktop, there's a, one of those one of those blow-up guys that's like, oh, sale, sale, sale. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, wacky inflatable blow-up tube man. Car salesman thing. Yeah. yeah. Check that out. Speaking of which, uh, if you're not subscribed to our emails, please do that. You can go to our website, scroll to the bottom, put your email in there. You'll be notified about that deals collection when it's updated. And there's a hilarious photo of Jared doing a slip and slide with fork oil in that email. <laughs> It's really funny. It's funny. Uh, but if you subscribe to our emails, we also send out notifications every time we drop a YouTube video or any type of really good content piece. And we don't spam you with BS. We put valuable emails together with good mountain bike knowledge and content that we assure you, you will enjoy. That's true. Couldn't have put it better myself. Thank you for watching this long. Thank you as well. We love you. That's Jeff like to say. <laughs> we love you. We love you. I think you said that first. Mm -hmm. nah, probably not. Maybe. I'm a lovey guy. I'd give people hugs if they wanted one. Lovey-dovey. <laughs>